Turn on your favorite station. You hear the same old song. I feel like dog. I'm about to. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's the Cowboys going up against the Giants. With that, we're off to MetLife Stadium in New Jersey as we bring in the two men who will call our game, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. This is taken at his four. One man in the backfield, Elliott. He's going to get the football. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Second down following the run. Second down, Prescott. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. I think we need to come up with a different name for this position. We keep calling it the fullback position. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a fullback, but we know this. Whoever's coming out of that spot is usually bigger and stronger, and they may not run away from people, but they run through them. Yeah, able to shed tacklers. We saw it right there. And he's got his man on the out route. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. And now a peek at the starters on the defensive side. A second down throw for Prescott. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. And he's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Now back to the ground with Elliott. Able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. 23 yards on the play. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses. Those exact type of runs. From the red zone now, Prescott. 
quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. Prescott now on second down. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. They come out here in the eye. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. The New York Giants offensively, their starters, and one guy out wide to take a look at, Sterling Shepard. A really mature man in every way coming out of Oklahoma. Personally and professionally, you can play him out wide, play him in the slot. He can return punts for you. He's a dynamic playmaker. Let's go. Green, 39. Green, 39. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Back to throw now on second and 10. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. A big play there for the Giants. 51 yards. They were ready for what the defense was showing. They had prepared for that look, recognized it, went straight to the air, got the first. Well done. Love the recognition because you can prepare for everything. You can watch the tape and put together your game plan, but you still have to understand what they're doing in terms of what they're showing and be able to adjust accordingly, and they did exactly that. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And a look at the defense for the Cowboys. Dante Hightower is a guy who can play the run with the best of anyone in the league, but he'll fool you a little bit in pass coverage. Not so bad there as well. And to give this time to the tailback. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. So second down was a run play. Now let's see what they do on third. And they'll run it here. And they'll get him down right about the 20. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. The best defensive lineman 
They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's the Giants with the football here as we begin quarter number two. We'll see what they'll do here as they're up against a fourth and in inches. And the first play will be a field goal try. From the left hash, this from 37. score will stay right where it is so he had a chance to get him on the board there but unfortunately that big yellow metallic structure in the back of the end zone it had other plans and that's when we're kickers watching it the whole way saying oh no don't hit it let's go, let's go. now the cowboys let's go. offense heads back let's go. onto the field and they were able to punch it in the end zone last time they'll be let's looking go. to do that again here for the defense Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got to a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. Throwing. Prescott. Looking left side, and it's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. A big play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Cowboys are able to show off their quick strike ability. Bailey now for the extra point. And this is no good. Missed the PAT, so they fail to connect. And this remains a 13-0 game. kick it away after the touchdown this fielded at the two and he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line and the Giants ready to come out now and they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try and no doubt about it because they were counting on those points in today's NFL well, let's face it, that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first.
first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And after the play on the ground, that brings single up second down receiver. here. Hey, you're on an island over there. Single receiver. Hurry up, here we go. Blue line. They'll drop to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. So there you go, holding by the offense, and that'll push him back. Changes everything now as you try and figure out what your playbook has for you. Longer yardage situations, tougher to execute and pick up first downs. And they're pushed back after the penalty, still second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Charles, I know it's hard when live bullets are flying, but you cannot keep your hand up around the face mask area. It is absolutely inexcusable nowadays. We talk about target areas all the time. You have to aim lower so that your hand doesn't get involved in the face mask. Now let's go. Three. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. The out route's such a timing route that sometimes the guy throwing the ball just throws it almost blindly, just kind of counts on that timing winning. And in this case, the ball was batted away. Second down following the incompletion. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Call it a gain of three, and it'll make it a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Seven yards to go on second down. They'll look to throw again. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. They lost four there, and it's third down. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered right, it for a loss of yardage. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. Third and 11, five in the secondary now. Nickel look. The play clock's running down. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back.
So that penalty, the offense shooting themselves in the foot a little bit. Now third and 16. They'll come out in the pistol. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Trying to lay one up deep. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13-3. to A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that. Got it above the defense and over the post. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Here's Prescott, and this one complete to Will Fuller. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had to read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. So it is third down now, but less than a yard to go. On third and one, here's Prescott. And he comes back with one complete. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. 12 yards there as they move the chains. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Prescott yet again. Fuller brings it in over the middle. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. They'll throw again. Prescott, it's complete to Fuller. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. One man in the backfield, Elliott. From the red zone now, Prescott. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. A good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Oh, 
A second down throw for Prescott. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be what he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. Here we go. On third down, it's Prescott escaping the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had to play. They just didn't complete it. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon. So apparently, neither guy is immune. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. They'll throw now on the final play. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of his first half of play. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The New York set to take the field. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk Let's about go. teams scripting Three, plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. To Shepard, complete over the middle. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it... is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic right, for those go. DBs, Blue aren't you? Blue 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 On first down, he'll drop to throw. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Off 
offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. They'll look to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. They're still in search of the first down after that last completion. Drop to throw. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they get 14 yards there and a first down. They were full scale, loose, flexible, finding a way to catch the ball in some traffic for a key first down. Yeah, really a nice job of adjusting to the ball in the air. Not the most accurate of throws, but able to adjust and make the grab. Take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. of the second half. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? See if they stay on the ground for a second down. Second down, Prescott. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended target. Third down here. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game, and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more. Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, look credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. And 12 yards that time and picking up the first. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yes. Yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Quarterbacks like throwing the slant route, but they have to be careful about ball placement. They have to put it in a spot that makes sure the receiver has his body in front of the defender. Down carry by Elliott. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit. You stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, 
Now you stop the clock, and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. Offense in a good spot here, second and two. They come out here in the eye. On second down, Elliott. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. They have five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Try to run for it with Allen. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. A first down throw for Prescott. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll make it second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Prescott now on second down. Fuller brings it in over the middle. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Charles on the slant. You always need good ball placement. They got it there. Brandon, the quarterback, put it in the exact perfect spot, right to the upfield shoulder of the receiver, and he used his body to keep the defender away. On third and one, here's Prescott. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. No game there, and it's going to set up second and goal. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Second and goal from the two-yard line. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And with a new rule, that decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he only gets to the 20. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. They go back to the air here after the INT. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow. A six-foot, six-inch target. It is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six-six target that they've got in him. They really do, and it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He just told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up on the top shelf where the kids can't get it.
here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he's got it. Got his man on the in route. Complete. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. midfield and inside the 45. So here we go, first and 10 now. throw deep downfield and incomplete he dropped it in the end zone when teams take shots at the end zone you've got to defend it the same way you would defend the first down sticks you defend the goal line exactly the same way they can't cross that you played through the receivers and on that play that's exactly what they did and batted it away Second and ten now. Here we go now. Three, 19. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Their big bodied receiver. His first touchdown on the year. And the Giants are able to draw a bit closer. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now, it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. the lead a bit further. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. Oh, were the Giants able to recover? Yes! Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. All right, here we go. Watch it now, Barney, Barney. Detroit, Detroit. They come up in an offset eye. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Second down following the run. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's going to let it fly. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And all the way is touchdown, New York. Their dangerous wide receiver with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Giants have got it back to a one-score game.
Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And the lead is down to two. So just over 90 seconds to play, and this would figure to be about as critical as it gets here. And the Cowboys are able to recover. And now looking at the clock here, they do have two timeouts, but even if they force a three and out, they're going to have very little time remaining. So that means they've got to be aggressive and find a way to knock the ball free. They've got to come up with it because they can't just rely, as you noted, on using their timeouts and getting the ball back. They might not have any time to mount an attack, even if they do play it that way. Get the football. That's their mantra. And now the Giants, they get the officials' attention and take another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. One man on the backfield, Elliott. Throwing here, Prescott. It's complete to Fuller. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll bring up a third down. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. And he will find his man on the outside. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. Come on, let's go! Red 38! Red 38! The give is to Elliott. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top ten units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them, or do you decide to throw the ball here? Let's go! One, nine! One, nine! Go. They go to Elliott again. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guy's in the cornerback position. On third down, Elliott. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. And that makes it a nine-point game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Well, in this one, partner, we had some action all the way down to the final whistle there with the late points and then the kickoff to end it. Yeah, and the best part about it is just seeing how teams battled all the way to the end, you know. Didn't really matter. Scoreboard was pretty well set, but they still competed until the final whistle. So for Dallas, it took a few weeks, but they finally get their first one of the season here in week four. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Washington Redskins. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they too will leave here at one and three. And they'll look to get back on the beam next week as they host the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I 
tougher, not a bluffer. I want you to be Molly Molly. Don't have to take it undercover. Just on this hundred thousand ring it, people sing it. Rice is throwing flour, bringing ting a ling a ling. The honeymoon is when we go in and I take you to a place that you didn't even know exists. What's your wish? Get that dive for tower in Paris. Shot us in the basement party. Yeah, turn into the greatest party. Yeah, every see my baby in Just once, and we went up. Yeah, my love a trippin'. Yeah. 